Some events and circumstances are much riskier than others. And these are what we think of as, um, quote, super spreader events. They all tend to be indoors with a lot of people, possibly not wearing masks, with poor ventilation, where some people may arrive mildly sick, for instance. Probably the, the way that people are getting infected are through inhaling the infectious particles of others that are nearby. Probably less likely um, or less commonly through touching surfaces and then touching your face, although that's a possibility. But we think that's what's going on in these super spreader events. While people may have genetic differences, we don't think that people who are sick with COVID, that some people necessarily have a much higher viral load than others when they're sick and coughing and sneezing. There may be some differences in the viral load, but we don't think that these super spreader events are because there's something like genetically special about that person. It's really the circumstance that that person is in. One, stay home when you're sick. Even if you're mildly sick, it's possible that it may be a mild case of COVID. Err on the side of staying home and not going to that event and get tested to see if it might be COVID. Number two, wear masks as much as possible. There's increasing evidence that masks are protective to not only others, they may actually be partially protective to the wearer too. Not 100%, but we think because potentially cuts down on the viral dose someone may get. Additionally, avoiding crowded places. And if you're having an event, just limiting the people at the event. The more people you have, the more risks um, that someone in there might have a case of COVID or a mild or even asymptomatic case of COVID-19. Number four, socially distance greater than six feet. Droplets typically fall to the ground within six feet. And in terms of this possible short range aerosol transmission, we think the concentration of infectious particles drops off as a function of distance. So the farther away you are from people, um, the less likely you are to, to get a, a big viral dose. Number five, maximize ventilation at your events or in your uh, public areas. We know as much outside air as possible is better realizing that there's sometimes air quality issues or wildfire smoke that you know we have to balance the risks for because that just helps dilute any infectious particles that are in there. Additionally, a good HVAC unit that's been serviced with a good filter, leaving it running also can help filter out some infectious particles. And even things like portable air filters with like a HEPA air filter, that can sometimes help uh, filter out infectious particles. Finally, washing your hands and, and washing frequently touched surfaces is always a good idea. Even though it's less commonly transmitted through surfaces and touching your face, that'll cut down on that risk.